Hi everyone, it's Jamie here from FX Learning. In today's trading session, we're going to be going over the AND strategy. Now, this is the first time I've actually traded this strategy, and this is the first time, uh, well, this is the first trade I've took with this strategy, and, um, and at the minute, they've all just dropped nicely into the money, which I didn't expect. Now, there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of raving and uh, a lot of kind of buzz and hype around this strategy mainly because it was created by a non-trader it was created by one of the binary destroyers wife uh, who doesn't know how to trade um, and we basically named the strategy after her and it's now called the and strategy now um, basically the, the actual strategy itself is very simple what we're waiting for is this is waiting for an arrow like this this arrow here to appear outside of the zone now if you haven't seen my uh, videos or you're not sure about the binary destroyer um, we have these zones here now the red zone is our sell zone we wait for the price to enter the zone we take the price down and it's vice versa with the green zone we wait for the price to enter the green zone and we take the price up now one of uh, the members found was if we use the pullback mode so in the left corner here we have pullback modes and you can press these buttons and we get different strategies like this um, on our charts each strategy works um, and you know it depends what kind of trader you are what type of trade uh, what kind of strategy you want to trade but one of the members found was if we use the original binary destroyer with our new pullback mode arrows on that they were getting a consistent uh, getting consistent results of it and it looks like the first trade that I've took is actually going to be a winner okay I actually stacked these trades because um, I'll explain to you why let me just wait for this to come in I'm actually kind of shocked the first trade I've took with this strategy is wood now first of all we can see that this trade if we zoom out is massively against the trend okay now I don't recommend trading against the trend Um, I always say and I'm sure you've heard it trend is your friend always trade with the trend now that's correct okay but sometimes we can counter trade so we can trade against the market if we get some kind of strong indication the market we just see here that's one so I'm gonna write this down um, what's this this would be well hopefully win loss so at the minute we are one nil and the price is dropping now if we get some kind of indication the market is going to reverse I will I'll, I'll get into trades against the trend now the reason I like this trade is we have a very strong diversions on the RSI if you don't know what diversions are I recommend you just to kind of type it into YouTube there's many videos on it and I don't want to you know sit here and talk about diversions so what diversions is is basically when price action so as you can see the candlesticks are making higher highs you can see um, price is still going up like this what normally happens is RSI will do the opposite you can see okay we're making lower highs so the RSI is getting weaker and weaker and weaker and normally nine times out of ten the price will follow it okay if you can nail diversions down to a T you will massively increase your probab probability of winning trades because normally price action will follow RSI one or two minutes after after diversions so um, let me give you an example okay of the power of diversions as we can see here okay if we just look at this one here okay you can see that the RSI is slowing down you see this it's making lower highs but at the same time price actions making higher highs okay now if we can get in at the right time so something like here uh, annoyingly here we can always get into one two three four five we can always get into short-term trades now because this is against the trend we want to be getting into short-term trades so five ten 
50 minute trades max. As you can see, I got into a 10 minute trade. We don't want to be taking bigger expiries because yes, this is against the trend and we don't necessarily want to be taking longer expiries. We want to be getting in and out. So yeah, my first trade with and strategy looks like it's gonna be a winner. Now, again, pretty simple really apparently because this is the first time I've actually traded this strategy. So, you know, I'm just going by what everyone else is telling me in the BD group. But apparently we wait for a signal arrow, which is outside of the bands here, and we get into a trade and take the price down. Okay, pretty much that, that's it, you know. Um, again, yeah, this was against the market. It was against the trend, but this is why I got into a short term quick uh, five or 10, 15 minute expiries. If this was with the trend, I probably took a longer expiry, 15, 20 minutes maybe. Um, but apart from that, nothing really. Um, no. So yeah. Um, it looks like uh, my first trade for the and strategy is going to be look it's actually going to be a nice winner um, nice amount of profit as well to end my, my trading week um, so I've heard a lot of I've heard a lot of results and opinions with this strategy some members are telling me that this uh, strategy is easy peasy it doesn't matter about anything you just take the trades and you make loads of money and some traders are saying that you need to take trades with the trend uh, you need to trade this on forex you need to trade this on binary so this is the first time I've actually traded this strategy um, but it looks I mean it looks like it works for me I mean you know uh, first trade first winner I think overall, when it comes to trading strategies or, you know, comes trading the BD, you've got to have some basic market knowledge, which we teach that anyway. But I just think, um, you know, I mean, I give you an example here. I would only look to take short term expiries because it's against the trend. A beginner here could take a 30 minute trade and then lose it because this is against the trend. OK, so we could see something like this right pull back and then could carry on going up like this right so this is where i think beginners maybe make a mistake with this strategy is if you are going to trade this strategy against the trend get into short-term expirers maybe have something like this if it's against the trend take five or ten minute expirers if it's with the trend take 15 20 minute expirers and see how you get on I can't personally give you an opinion because as you can see, this is the first time I've traded it, but you can see, um, you can see it's actually a nice winner. And uh, not bad really, considering I've been making this video for eight minutes. Uh, my, my trade's been for 10 minutes and uh, I've just completed a trading session in 10 minutes. <laughs> so quite happy with that. Um, What I will do, in fact, is I'm just going to, um, oh, nice winner, 54321. Um, there we go. What I'm going to do, actually, okay, because I was hoping to do a longer trading session, I'm going to flick over to the VIP group now and show you some of the results this week in the VIP group. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll be back. Hi everyone, so this is the VIP group where everybody receives all their support and training when they join us. Obviously, this will be all on our members area very, very soon. So um, I'll show you that as soon as it's ready. But what I'll do is I'll just scroll down from the top and show you some of the results. I used to do this every week, but uh, I've been so busy with building the members area and have time. So first of all, anybody looking at USD Chef, let me find you some results. Okay, straight away uh, from Vision, uh, from a new starter actually, I'll read it to you. Probably my best trading day yet. After not getting my ideal setups for hours, they all just came in one after the other. Patient pays off. 80 nil on binary, 80 pips on Forex. Have an awesome weekend, everyone. Wow. 
What strategy are you using? Let's find out what strategy is you're using. Standard BD rules and AND strategy. Well, I've just showed you the AND strategy works, so um, that's, that's incredible. Um, um, John, my day so far. I traded my £1,000 account, made £150, walked to the dog, went to the cafe and had four poached eggs on toast. <laughs> nice. Wow. Scents and roses. 1,500 pips daily, 3,000 pips so far this week. That is incredible. Um, for the record, Saints and Roses is going to be our first female admin, which is incredible stuff. But I mean, I can't, I, I, I would love to know how she manages 3,000 pips a week. I mean, pfft. um here's a nice trade with the and strategy i was going over this earlier please comment about this trade as it met all my rules so i took it for a 15 minute trade one this is exactly what i was saying about the and strategy and divergence look at this nice trade this is signal arrow pops outside the zone we have divergence and we have a double bottom this is a very very nice setup you can see here i <coughs> excuse me I said here, beautiful trade, best of the best. And it was. this. Th that was a very nice trade. Um, keep going. Wondering how many of you guys can't get results uh, with the AND strategy. One of our admins just making a video. Me talking about RSI and diversions. Um, Sup so guys, any reason why this trade lost? Let me just break this down. Normal BD rule and diversions. Um, okay, I can pretty much answer this one. Now, straight away, we can see this. Here we go. It looks pretty cut and did. It looks pretty cut and dry. You did not follow the trend. I hate to say this, but after all your posts of losing trades. So, yeah, I'll break down to the, uh, this why this trade lost. First of all, it's a downtrend okay like i said when i took my trade you don't want to be trading against the trend um first of all he took a 20 minute expiry what did i say i say if you're going to take trades against the trend take 5 10 or 15 minute trades max this person took a 20 minute trade against the market so i mean it's quite obvious you're playing with fire when you try and do that um, and i do not recommend anybody to trade against the trend um, tried something new testing out of theory I have for FX learning so far so good um, wow John's smashing it with his pips as usual um, this is simple strategy for Forex as well um, let me find you there one minute time frame see this is another nice trade this is another nice trade with the AND strategy look at this and strategy signal arrow pops outside the zone diversions on the rsi i mean all day long all day long to me that looked a perfect trade the trade met the bd rules and we had a nice diversions on the charts i mean nice 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 so yeah Anne is the queen of the binary story so i'm gonna leave that there um it's been another successful week in the binary story family and um, also 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 i want to talk to you this Sunday is going to be our first free webinar for everyone. So if you head over to the Facebook group, the free Facebook group, we have 12,000 members. Uh, I'll put the link in the comments below. Uh, if you join, okay, every Sunday we'll have a free webinar for one hour and you can take part in it. You can ask questions. Uh, with the admins you can interact with our bd members you can see how people get on you can see part of our training you can interact with us for absolutely nothing completely free you don't even need to sign up with us um so yeah that's going to be this sunday uh, what i'll do is on saturday which is tomorrow i will share the link and the time on which the webinar will be and then on sunday we'll have the webinar so um yeah if you're going to be there i look forward to you seeing there if not have a great weekend and i will see you next week thank you